Is injectable testosterone better than cream? Good question. When something needs to be introduced to the body or replaced or restored in order to perform an a important function, as a pharmacist, I'm always thinking, how can I deliver that substance in the same amount and timing that the body did? That's really hard to do, but we get as close as we can to the way nature does it. The body's a pretty amazing system, and it's when we think we have a better way that we usually get into trouble. So when it comes to testosterone, that's the model that I follow. Look at this graph of testosterone oil injected every two weeks in the muscle. The vertical axis is the testosterone blood level and the horizontal axis is the time measured in days. And you can see that there are pretty large fluctuations there in, in blood levels between doses. Quite high peaks and low valleys there. Compare that to this graph of testosterone cream applied daily to the skin. See how little fluctuation there is between the doses? Nobody's testicles or ovaries release testosterone all at once every two weeks in an oil in the muscle. The body releases it throughout the day into the bloodstream and the cream more closely mimics that slow drip. High peaks cause more side effects like acne and low valleys leave you feeling like it's not working. So, and we found that injectable testosterone actually lowers HDL, the good cholesterol, whereas topical raises it. So there's another factor that comes into play, and there are others. Not all hormones absorb well through the skin, but testosterone does. So this pharmacist says, mimic Mother Nature and go with the cream for testosterone. And don't worry, it won't cost you $700 a month like androgel. Compounded testosterone is about $50 to $60 a month.